I'm not going to lie to you. I was such a big Josh Primo fan to the point that when I saw this initially, I thought, maybe? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely insane. So we do, we do it, I, look, I, I got to go through this article, okay? Um, this is from TMZ, and we're going to talk about this one second. But apparently Joshua Primo never intentionally exposed himself in, in therapy. I, I, this is kind of wild. All right. But uh, anyways, you guys want to support the channel, clan, the merch fan.com uh, link in the description. I uh, got, got some, got, got some merch. All right. So here we go. Um, NBA's Joshua Primo never intentionally exposed himself during therapy sources claim. Now this is actually wild because I didn't see, and I, I probably just missed it, but I didn't see much from TMZ sports on the Josh Primo situation. So I guess they were trying to get some, uh, some of the sources themselves. Um, but moving on, so this is what they have to say about the whole situation. This is Josh Primo's camp. Uh, sources close to Primo are insistent he never intentionally exposed his privates, and if anything was visible at any time, it was strictly a wardrobe malfunction resulting from laying down on a couch in basketball shorts. I, I don't know. I, I this is this seems like a low key like humble brag that that that's kind of that's kind of wild even leaving it up there like saying leaving it out there and saying well maybe you know possibly look the reason why i was pretty quick to say yeah it's it's probably something here is because these allegations came out before the like official account started talking about it like there was a reddit post and we already went over it before so i won't go over it again but it was a reddit post basically saying that he did it um to uh in a hotel to uh, housekeeping so this is something that's probably been a continuous problem and something he's been dealing with for a very long well probably not a very long time but a, a substantial amount of time the fact that it would get out there at all like that um but moving on uh it's been documented jp had a rough childhood and we're told the psychologist was help him work through some personal issues which i do believe so he'd almost always go to our office in shorts before or after practice or games the accuser's attorney has identified his his client as dr hillary cawthon i actually went over to her instagram page i, I won't go to it on here but um and she's actually follow from uh, or by Keldon Johnson, Drew Eubanks. So if you guys recall, Drew Eubanks' wife um, posted something shortly after uh, uh, Primo was waived saying, believe women um, or stop silencing women. It was something in that in that ballpark and people, yeah, they, they, they basically made a direct draw or direct uh, line to that and saying, hey, it, it sounds like he did something um, de dealing with sexual assault or, or something in that category, right? Sexual harassment, whatever. Our sources say uh, Primo was shocked by the allegations and many of his circle feel he's a young guy who's been taken advantage of by a medical professional twice his age. That's kind of loaded right there. I, I don't I don't know what this really has to do with it, but sure. Um, so basically his camp is saying that he's the victim in this situation. Um, now, here's the thing before we move on. Here's the thing. I wouldn't be going this in on it or at least like talking about it as much as I am if it wasn't it. <laughs> If it was one person now it being the psychologist is bad enough okay that's absolutely awful um but it, it seems as if there's multiple allegations so the fact that his camp is hyper fixating on the psychologist i i don't know what to say here um maybe because that seems like that's a little bit more uh damaging but i don't know let's see shortly after he was released primo released a statement addressing the shocking news and you guys know this and this is what made me say okay there's something here i know that you're all surprised by tonight's or today's announcement i've been seeking help to deal with previous trauma i suffered and will now take this time to focus on my mental health treatment more fully um, i hope to be able to discuss these issues in the future so i can help others who have suffered in a similar way i appreciate privacy at this time so how do i feel about this um that's that's a claim that that's definitely a claim um they, they're not flat out saying no this this is he never did this they're saying well if he did you know it was because he had shorts on and it was an accident I, guys i don't know i i don't know if he has a serious and, and you know, obviously we don't know him personally but if he has a serious issue with this um i, I don't i don't know if it would have been as subtle as oh you know it just so happened to hang i don't, I don't know that's kind of weird um that that's a claim for you right there but we'll wait and see we'll see what the um psychologist and her party has to say about the whole situation 
but from what we know thus far and you know i'll keep you updated but what we know thus far is is multiple people not just her so i'm not gonna like hyper focus or focus on like just her but i don't know all right we'll we'll, we'll, we'll move on all right but anyways if you guys want to support the channel as always claim the merch um or become a patreon youtube member only two dollars per month uh, until next time man this is gonna be messy <laughs>